Okay, we got five minutes. Gotta run up there. Today we are in Guwahati, Assam. We are gonna go see the beautiful sights. Thank you, Bidjoy. We're starting our trip with an aerial view of Guwahati and the river here. Maybe closed. I am just at the wrong exit. Oh, this river is looking nice. There's also a really tiny island with a temple on it, which we'll see from above. Oh, Roy, well, we go to the ticket house and get ourselves a ticket, which I believe is 200 rupees, but we shall see. One ticket, both ways. Yeah, it's $200 for Indians, foreigner. Scammed again. I'm just kidding. I don't mind paying a little bit extra. So what, it's seven bucks to go there and back. I have to return in two hours or else my ticket is no longer valid and I'm stuck on North Gawadi, which there's not much happening on. Thank you, sir. Okay. Okay, we go to the ropeway, which I'm glad I went in the morning because there's hardly anybody here. On a Saturday night, this place is gonna be packed. Taxman's taken all my dough and left me in my stately home, blazing on a sunny afternoon. And I can't sail my yacht, he's taken everything I got. All I've got this sunny afternoon. So we just passed over the tiny little island here, which I heard was the smallest river island in the world. It's got a small temple on there that actually a lot of people go to. You can't get there from the ropeway though, you have to get there from a ferry. The ferry takes a little while, so I don't know if we're gonna do that, but maybe. Save me, save me, save me from this squeeze. I got a big fat mama trying to break me. Live so pleasantly Live this life of luxury Blazing on a sunny afternoon Okay, total trip takes 10 minutes, maybe 15 minutes. It's pretty fast, which is good. Let's see what North Kawadi's about. When I was looking at it on Google Maps, there's not a whole lot here. Okay, apparently there's a couple uh, temples over here. One of them is a thousand rupees to go to. The other one's 300. So we will see. Nice views of the water. You can see some fishermen out there doing their, their thing. It's really quiet. There's only a few shops and they're really not open though. The Hotel Fun Food Villa is not open yet. Bummer. There's really nowhere to go. There's just like a dirt road. I guess you just walk along it or pay it's probably a little bit expensive. See if we can get to the beach. Not too bad views over here. So Assam is known for their tea. You can get it everywhere in the world, it seems like. I've seen it in the US all over the place. Over a century ago and before it became the second largest tea growing region, the beautiful state of Assam was a jungle. This tea is decent. It could use better spices, but it's decent. So there's a, there's a temple a nine minute walk away that I'll probably go to. There's another one 2.7 kilometers away, which I probably won't go to, but we'll see. I had to uh, heartbreakingly tell the guy, like I'm not gonna pay a thousand rupees to go to two temples. I flew from, where did I fly from? <laughs> Azawal to Imphal for 700 rupees. This guy's trying to charge me a thousand. He sees the white skin and he's like, moron, let's get this guy. I felt kind of bad though. He was uh, trying to work it, got to respect it. But I just want to walk around. There's like a, there's a temple with 2000 reviews on Google, uh, 10 minutes away. So we'll walk to that. I think this would be a good place to live because you're a 10 minute ride to Guwahati and you're essentially living in like a little village. This place is quaint. Temple? Mandir? Okay.
No, no. Temple. Yeah, don't lose it. Yeah. It is good? I just, uh, five minutes. Five minutes? Okay. Yeah, the taxi guy, he kind of looked like he was going to cry. I think he really thought he had me on the hook. I should say, if a taxi driver like way overcharges you, at first, I, I feel like, you know, all bets are off, brother. If someone gives me a fair price, I'll probably go with it. Finding a good taxi guy is like a really valuable service to me. Okay, here we go. This temple is primarily dedicated to Lord Krishna, and the god was brought to this place, near this place, by Ganga Ram Baru. It's well known for its popular holy celebrations that take place over five days and draw thousands of pilgrims. And every day the temple follows a strict routine, starting with the holy bath and puja at 6.30 a.m. Doors open for devotees at 7.30 and then they close at sunset. You can find food around noon and evening. There are devotional songs being sung. <laughs> Okay, we have been blessed by the priests. They have some really beautiful paintings of Hindu mythologies and things, so that was cool. That was my favorite part. I don't know about the blessing. Felt like it was a little bit transactional. They were just doing it so I could uh, pay some money. Okay, we go check out that temple up on the hill. Ah, he, the guy piqued my interest and it looked good in the photos. I found a nice guy, he's 400 to go up and back to the ropeway, so. My girlfriend's run up with my car I'm going back to her mom park Telling tales of drunken That's where we're going. Now I'm sitting here Sipping at my ice cold beer Blazing on the sunny afternoon I kind of wanted to come to this one so we can see some views from the top Get a look of the whole area And it looked like it was like going uphill So uh, it'd be a good hike Could use a little exercise before we go to a typical Assam lunch Whoa! Looks like we got some uh, locals here hanging out Keeping the place holy. So this site is famous for its rock cut sculptures. I'm looking at a Ganesha right now that's cut right into the rock. First off, this temple is known for its impressive rock cut image of Lord Ganesha welcoming visitors at the entrance. You have to like the uh, beautiful trees in this area as well. It's a sacred site dedicated to Goddess Durga and is the second most important temple in the area. Hanuman. Behind the Kamakaya temple, which we'll see soon, legend states that a body part from Sati, the first wife of Lord Shiva, fell on this hill, making it important. Footprints. Durga? Durga. Okay. What is Durga? Yeah. This is Sherika Upanja. This is Sherika Upanja. This is Bahane. This is Bahane. This Tiger. Part Tiger? Okay. Durga with the tiger riding? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So here we have the main temple. During the annual Durga Purja, this temple becomes the center of major festivities, including animal sacrifices. Oh, nice. But thousands of devotees flock here to participate, and it's a vibrant and essential part of the local culture. Finally, the temple's unique architecture is a blend of Hindu and Ahom styles. Built by an ancient king, the main sanctum is located in an underground small cave. Okay, so we just saw an old, beautiful temple with a lot of rock-cut sculptures. Hello. Hello. Okay, we could only stay on this island for two hours i hope it hasn't been two hours i gotta check my ticket and get stuck over here wow check out this these trees are epic it reminds me a little bit of uh, angkor wat a small bit large trees growing around rocks i got 16 minutes to make it back it's 
gonna be tight. I think it takes 10 minutes to get there, so we're gonna have to be running. Help me, help me, help me sail away. Well, give me two good okay, reasons thank you, sir. why I ought to stay. Okay, we got five minutes. I love to live so pleasantly. Live this life of luxury. Blazing on a sunny afternoon. Well, we made it. We just got to wait 10 minutes for the next ropeway car. All right, so we made it back across without having to pay for another ticket. And when we get to the other side, there's some other attractions over there that we're gonna check out. This is Nehru Park. We have a lake here, which I don't know the name of it. Some nice, beautiful flowers though. You can rent a boat down there on the other side. Here we go, Assam's capital city, Guwahati. Uh-oh, I know what you're thinking. Another boring museum. Why don't I just skip ahead to the part where he eats the Assamese tali? To the uh, Assamese tali. But I've learned so much from these state museums as I went to them in each of the seven Northeast states. This one isn't the best. Head to the Don Bosco Museum in Shillong for the best Northeast Museum. But the sculpture room is impressive. There are many Hindu, Buddhist, and more statues dating back hundreds of years. And there were recreations of traditional Assamese villages. And since I'm looking to build my own home one day, I'm always taking notes in these. Little uh, earth homes that used to be a village in Assam. Similar to what I'm gonna build back in the USA. Gonna have to halt the tour. The power went out and uh, where I wanna go, it's like completely black. So we're gonna miss a few of the galleries because we're not sure when uh, the lights will come back on. But there's another place close by I wanna see too. So let's go check that out. So the state art gallery is not open. Will never be open, so don't come. It looks like this is a place where artists can work. Not uh, for you to see art anymore at least because there's a recording studio and an art gallery and it says you can apply to come here and there's different charges we do have a bust of the poet who won the Nobel Peace Prize the man the myth Rabindrath Tagore. The song I came to sing remains unsung to this day. The time has not come true. The words have not been rightly set. Only there is the agony of wishing in my heart. Never surrender. Never give up. There is another artistic place nearby. We'll go check it out. And finish with a typical Assamese tali. We'll walk back by the beautiful pond here. Nice a peaceful shade, which is good because it is hot now painted tree so here's the Mahdi community which is not open Mom, and here's where I get a little frustrated after walking for hours in the hot sun but their hours on Google aren't right call first before coming this is where local artisans make handicrafts though so if you can find it when it's open I'd try it all right we go to the restaurant <laughs> This place looks closed. Okay. More coming? Okay. Yeah. This is chicken curry. Chicken curry? Yes. Okay. This is pork curry. Pork curry. This is fish. Fish curry. This guy. This guy. Uh, car. 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 So we're having a jumbo Assamese tali. One of my favorite things in every state is to try the local tali. This looks like a good one because they're known for pork. 
cooked in those delicious, complex Indian spices. Okay, I got the fresh lime soda, a little sugar, and a little salt, because we like the flavors. Okay, let's do, let's do this pork first. I think that's, that's the star of the show. Ooh, we got a big fat piece. It smells interesting. So, to the uh, Assamese tali. Mm. That's very good, very good. It's not too spicy. Got some chilies in there. Got some of that delicious pork that's super tender. Mm -mm. <coughs> it's really satisfying. Oh. They're already trying to give me more food, so that's always a good sign. I think I hurt her feelings by not taking it. It's like a big hunk of fat. Well, the pork gets two massive thumbs up. Okay, now let's try the chicken curry. I wonder how this might be different than other chicken curries around India. You got the bone in there, which is never my favorite because I'm lazy and I like my American style boneless chicken, but we will deal with it. Okay. Super spicy. Ooh, good though. I want more. Mmm. Mmm. -mm. That. Very good flavor. Let's just eat in this with our fingers. Mmm. Oh yeah. I'm so hungry. I've already walked four miles today. This one right here is like a pureed papaya, which they said was a local dish as well. Let's mix it with some of this rice and the delicious sauce. Mmm, very light, not too sweet. Thought it was gonna be more sweet. Okay, and then this, I can't remember what they said this was. Mmm. Very buttery, very creamy. That one is really good. I don't know what is going on with this. Looks like little fried potatoes and sog or spinach. Get a little doll. All right. Oh, there we go. There's a little bit of sauce. Let's mix that in there. Ooh. Ooh, yeah. It's like a spicy mustard. Yeah, it's like wasabi powder is in that. I know it's not, but it has a very similar flavor. It's almost even giving me like a wasabi burn. Okay. They did not skimp on the sh on the fish here. Big hunk of fish. Okay, I think we got a good one here. Mm. Okay, we got another. Ooh, they just brought me another fried banana one. This one's hot out of the fryer. Let's dip it in the chicken this time. That's delicious. So you've probably heard of Assam because um, of their tea, very famous tea. Smells like my grandmother. She must have liked Assam tea. I think of it just as like black tea. Better add some sh No, let's taste it without it. Mm. Okay. <clears throat> I don't know. Yeah, it just tastes like, Assam tea I think is black tea. I wonder if Assam tea is in masala tea if it's the black tea and masala tea, I'm not sure if that is. But I do wish it had the masala spices and ginger and stuff, cardamom, man. Such a good tea. So if you like the adventures, please consider subscribing. After Assam, we're going to the least visited state in all of India. You're gonna to wanna to check it out.